Yo, what's good all? Welcome back to the channel. I have tickets for the Snooker World Champs 2023. I'm so gassed, excited, looking forward to it. I thought I'd record a short vlog video for you guys to sort of cover the day and what I'm doing the day before. So it is Monday the 24th of April. We're having to travel over um, to Sheffield uh, the day before because on the 25th we've got tickets to the quarterfinals uh, the morning session which is at 10 a.m. Obviously if we were traveling on the same day we'd have to leave at something like 8 o'clock in the morning so it only makes sense. Um, in terms of who, who we're watching we're going to be uh, most likely watching Mark Allen and Jack Jones on, with, on table number two. Um, there is a slight off chance I can't see it happening but there's an off chance that we get to see Ronnie O'Sullivan and Luca Brissell um, over on table number two. Uh, he is an A-lister when it comes to snooker, so he's always on table number one. That's why I'm saying there's an off chance, but there's like 95% chance it's going to be Mark Allen and Jack Jones, which is a good match anyway. I am, I'm really excited to see it. Obviously, when tickets come out, they sell quick. Like, the like hot potatoes, they just sell straight away. Um, you just have to sit on the site, sort of refresh the page until the tickets come live and immediately buy it obviously there's people waiting there already so um we're traveling the day before i'm gonna sort of vlog the day vlog our journey or restaurants we eat at and that kind of stuff excited to get into it guys let's start the journey so this journey when i put it into the sat nav i thought it was gonna say two hours 36 minutes which is why i said when i was planning the journey that kind of stuff Walked into the sat nav, three hours and four minutes long. All right, so we're finally at Sheffield. Looks like this is our hotel, Halifax Hall. I'm gonna be calling it Halifax Bank. We're gonna be staying at Halifax Bank. Let's check in then. Right, so we are at room 305. Let's see then. So we've got nice little double bed. We've got, we've got a TV, wardrobes of some sort. We are shit. <laughs> bathroom's pretty sick, you know. Bathroom's alright. Loving the waterfall shower. The cubicle's actually massive. Let's take a look at the view outside. That's the view outside. It's just like some sort of garden. And then you've got Sheffield Uni um, halls there. And the campus as well so the building we're staying in actually doubles up as a conference hall and university of Le um of sheffield use it as well so guys there you are that is the hotel all right so we're at some joint called cutlery cutlery arms or something like that cutlery house or something that's where we're eating tonight Right, so this joint is like, it's got loads of different vendors that you can like buy from. Going all the way down there, there's like Greek food and um, Indian food. I don't know why as an Indian I'd have Indian food though uh, outside of the home. But yeah, we've got some authentic Malaysian food. I don't even know what that is, but yeah, I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find something I like. <laughs> right, let me just show you a few of these lots of menus. Of course guys, I didn't show you the bar. But yeah, there's the bar, stretches along there. Of course, we're going to be getting um, a few drinks from there. 
meetings down here and you've also got upstairs as well, which I think is through those double doors. So where are you getting there? So guys, we're at this Indian joint. That's their menu. I'm just gonna let you read that. You can pause it or whatever and go through that. So apparently Jimmy's is supposed to be famous. So I'm just gonna show you the, the menu there. Obviously you can pause that and go through it if you want. But yeah, apparently, apparently that joint is supposed to be quite famous. Apparently. I don't know. Alright guys, so I think I found the one that they're going for. It's something called um, Mavs. And they've got Nashville chicken thigh, smoky mayo, ranch, American cheese, lettuce and pickles. That is what we're going for today. I, I swear I can't pick from half these menus. So that's what that's what Priya's got. So she's got moussaka and what is that? Salad. Greek oh, salad. It's, it's just a Greek salad. So moussaka and salad. Mine is still on its way. All right, and here's my order. So we've got the Nashville burger. We've got fries with the Nashville sauce on there. So Nashville fries. And then, then we've got loaded fries, which um, wasn't actually in my order. There you are. So the drinks are in, guys. I've gone for a uh, a full pint of Madri, and then Priya said she wanted an ale. So um, they've gone. They've given something called a vocation. Uh, it's the best one they do apparently so yeah drinks update one of many so after scoffing all that food guys this is what the upstairs looks like so there's another food joint there tables that's it off to the hotel we go all right so we had a little bit of a siesta. I think I slept for about one and a half hours ish. And then uh, just freshen up and then back down. Back down to the bar. So yeah, short, short sleep and then top up on drinks. So guys, I thought I'd record one final segment of the vlog for tonight bit of a strange one this hotel right you see these cars that are here that's the only parking spots for the entire hotel now i know obviously you got cars parked all along the side of the road there but official parking spots those are the only ones five cars bit of a strange one you know don't don't get that You'd, you'd think they'd have some like dedicated parking spots so this hotel is i think i said it in another segment it's actually owned by sheffield university um yeah it's it's actually owned by sheffield uni and uh so they use it for like conferences and events and that kind of stuff uh there's a library and all sorts but yeah it's a it's a bit strange where people come here for a conference where the hell they're supposed to park five spots bit of a weird one anyway i didn't come all the way down here but to the five spot car park just to record this little segment i got told to come down here so um pray could have some water I had to come down for a water bottle all the way from the room so yeah don't say um i don't make sacrifices so uh just a bonus clip something I forgot to record would you believe yeah this place yeah big Sheffield Uni yeah you think they've got like accessibility 
like diversity, those things locked off. This joint has no lifts. Isn't that a bit weird? Like, look, I'm, I'm climbing stairs. It's not about being, me being lazy or anything. I'll do this all day long. What about people with like accessibility issues? What, are you gonna give them ground floor? I, you can give them ground floor rooms, but it's a bit of a weird one. Zero lifts. It's not even like out of order or anything. They just don't have a lift. So yeah, <laughs> I'm climbing upstairs. Weird one. Thought I'd get some bonus footage in as I am vlogging. Alright guys, it is World Champs match day. I am actually so excited, looking forward to it. Uh, just going to head downstairs and get some breakfast. Um, we booked the, the hotel room with breakfast included. So going to grab something to eat and then check out and then head over to the Crucible Theatre. Um, we are running a bit late though, so I think photos and videos and stuff of the actual arena might be limited, but we'll see how we get on. Can't wait. Alright guys, we are at the Crucible. We're running late as f***. It's so late. 15 minutes till the match starts. I can't really video anything else. Got the surroundings here. But yeah, there we go. It's like in a little box, square garden sort of place. This is inside. We got the draw here. I think that way. You know, find out which way to go. So I think we've got to go up the stairs and through that little doorway there. So these are the commentating kit things that you put on your ear. BBC commentating. Commentary, I should say. Well excited. All right, so we got seats L three and L four. So table number one's on the other side, and then table two is on this side. You see the players walk out through the. The rock star, the greatest player in history. Um, Ronnie just keeps on firing past those milestones. 200th Crucible uh, century in the previous match, including that was his 1200th overall at all venues. And today he walks out contesting his 100th match on the Crucible stage. He had the record on 99, I think Hendry's next on 90. But imagine that, he'll be walking out for his 100th Crucible match, so I'll be um, just putting that into his intro this morning because you'd be there for 10 minutes listing all his statistics. If you waited in the wings, they'd have played two frames by the time you'd, uh, you'd gone through everything he's achieved. But I think that is very, very special. A hundred, a hundred appearances at the Crucible. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the start of a two day, six session shootout for the right to return on Thursday for the much fabled single table setup at the Crucible. Three champions, three proven ranking event winners, and two debutants are edging closer to the ultimate title. So, welcome to the quarterfinals of the Kazoo World Snooker Championship. <laughs> to a maiden quarter-final 
in his debut year, beating former finalist Carter and former champion Robertson in fight style, he's a mild-mannered man who lets his cue do the talking. So we call him the silent assassin, Jack Jones. <laughs> Right guys, match is over. We are outside in sunny Sheffield. We ended up watching uh, Jack Jones and Mark Allen. Ended up being such a good match. Neither player missed many shots. Um, it was one break, frames over sort of uh, play. Uh, only the last frame of the session when it went 4-4, uh, it was sort of KG and players missed shots but neither player wanted to go into the interval uh, into the evening session uh, losing the match so yeah you, it's understandable but yeah such a good game got to see Ronnie O'Sullivan in the, in the end uh, seen him walk out so gassed I was just in the same building as him so yeah I'll take that but yeah guys here you are Sunny Sheffield take a look at this you got like um, I think that's the back of the crucible right there and then you got some sort of hotel there. Got the fountain on. Kids loving it. All right, so we're, we've just had Mackey's. I don't even know why. I'm supposed to be on a healthy one. I fancy the fries and end up getting some chicken sandwich. So yeah, a bit of an L there. But um, overall, amazing day. Um, gonna get in the car now and head back to east of England. Long drive ahead, three hours. All right, guys, so we are back from Sheffield. Uh, what a wonderful experience it was. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed the sort of um, these vlogging types of videos. I want to do more of them in the future. Uh, let me know if you like it by dropping a like on the video. Just want to say thank you very much to Priya for getting me the tickets for um, the World Snooker Champs. I didn't ever envision that I'd go watch a snooker game even though I'm so passionate and I love the sport so much so I just want to give her a shout out and say thank you. She's not actually here at the moment so I thought I'd record while she's away at work um, and then she'll get to see it on the video. Um, so guys, onwards and upwards from here. Uh, I'm going to be dropping more fitness content. We're done with the, the whole Hogwarts Legacy um, playthrough. It was about almost like 76 episodes or something long quite a long game I didn't expect it to be that many episodes I've done a lot of editing um put a lot of hard work in that to get that out 
But yeah, we are done with that. Um, I'm on the final stretch to Vegas now. We're going in June, I believe, something like June 18th. So I need to get in real good shape for that or look the best I can anyway. Um, so yeah, guys, I will catch you next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Catch you then. Peace out.